Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Arul. I am an interventional cardiologist working for Apollo OMR. Being a cardiologist, the most important complaints with which patients come to my OP is chest pain. So I have seen patients from kids having chest pain to really elderly person having chest pain and most of the time they get panicked. So I am here to talk about which pain is important. So I will first explain to you about how does a cardiac pain or what is called a heart attack pain or in technical terms it's called angina. How does it feel? So imagine an elephant sitting on your top of your chest. It's rather than a pain, it's going to be a discomfort. Such kind of a compressive pain will be there. It will be lasting for more than two to three minutes and the pain may radiate to your both your arms, your shoulder, your jaw, your neck, your back and it will be associated with sweating breathing difficulty, giddiness. It's not necessary that you should all have the associated features also. So now you have heard about how an anginal pain becomes to known as a heart attack. Now I will tell you what is not an anginal pain. Any pain which is like associated with just one particular spot, for example a finger pointing sign, you tell the pain is exactly only here doctor or only here doctor, it is not an anginal pain. The anginal pain, it is diffuse, it is everywhere. And secondly, any pain which lasts for a, a second, which just comes and goes, a pricking pain, a flash of pain which just comes for a second and goes, it is not anginal pain, it is not associated with a heart attack, you need not worry about it. It is probably a musculoskeletal or a bone pain. Next pain is a shoulder pain. For example, if you have a shoulder pain you or a neck pain, you first move your limb, move your left arm or right arm wherever the pain is and if that movement causes more pain of course that is absolutely definitely not heart related it is probably the muscle pain or the bone pain. The third thing is if suppose you walk for a certain distance you get a choking feeling and you stop and the pain also disappears and you again continue to walk you again get the same pain it is most probably an anginal pain which is causing caused by the heart. So what do you need to do? approach your doctor, do a treadmill test. What do they do in a treadmill test, a TMT? In a TMT, they connect ECGs, they will create the same scenario of what you are walking in day-to-day -day activities. So when you do a TMT, there are some ECG changes which gives clues whether you your pain is related to the heart or a non-cardiac pain. Say you have a chest pain and you are not able to decipher whether the pain is cardiac or non-cardiac. Ask the question yourself, are you a woman? or a man. Women usually less than age 40 or 45 do not develop heart attacks. So the chances of you having a heart attack uh, in, in a woman is very less. So men at any age they can get heart attacks. So next question is do you smoke? If you are a smoker, yes, the chances of you having heart problem is very high. So you can itself imagine and take yes, I am a smoker, I am a guy. So at this age, extremely stressed out, not exercising, unhealthy diet. So this pain may be cardiac. So I need to talk to a doctor. The other question usually patients ask is acidity. That acidity causes heart attack or the heart attack causes acidity. It is just that the heart pain mimics as a acid reflux. So any uh, unexpected or you know um, uh, untoward pain which has happened, uh, which has not previously has happened for you. For example, you take a chicken biryani or a oily food, you get an acid reflux or an acidity. Okay, if it is you develop an acidity problem without having without having all these kind of oily foods, then you need to be very cautious. It can mimic you know a heart attack and mimic a similar kind of pain. Suppose you have a pain in the you know the stomach area and you started to sweat and the pain radiates up to your jaw to the back then you need to be very cautious.